Hi everybody, Alexander Bax here, and this is my Bama champion day one for the Necropolis League. I will be sharing with you guys my journey throughout the league, and I will be also putting out uh, updated pops for the build. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. Also, make a comment below what you think about my build. I chose the champion because I will have permanent fortify that will give me a lot of armor, survivability, also attack speed. And also I will have taunt that will make me take less damage from those monsters. And also the taunt will make the monsters take 20% more damage and cannot evade attacks. So I thought the champion will be better than the necromancer and the guardian for me for those reasons. I am playing hardcore solo cell phone and I think that getting 100% spell suppression is very nice, especially if you can have a permanent fortify and a lot of armor. So I decided to start this build using split arrow, chance to bleed and momentum as my attack and also using the shrapnel ballistas with chance to bleed and maim support. And that was a very good uh, option to start it. You could also use the splitting steel or spectral throw or other ways of leveling. But I truly think that leveling as a bow build was already fitting well the team. And I could start with my tree right away. Right. And then when I reached uh, the climb for the first time, now we all get this amazing legion, right? I was popping up some of the rewards and I, I saw there was a unique and I was uh, cheering to get a tabula rasa at this early stage, that would be pretty cool, right? So here was my first luck of the league. I was farming and then a quill rain dropped. Oh, short bow! <laughs> Real! Nice. And then the quill rain combined with split steel and the ballista kind of melted everything down really quick. Very, very fast, like this Merveil, as you can see, she just died instantly. Just like the other bosses that I faced, like Brutus, Valen Act 2 was really easy as well. Everything was just dying, right? The Quill Rain got a lot of attack speed. And it made it a lot easier with the combination of Split Arrow and the Ballistas. Uh, it was shooting very, very fast, making a lot of damage in the early game. So it was very nice find. But then I got track 3 and I was uh, messing up a little bit with the league. I was feeling very very strong and very very uh, cocky, right? Like wh whenever you get super strong you kind of get cocky. And then you, you need to respect the game, right? Here I got the freezing and detonate that. And I was dead. So I just restarted the character and this was fun. I mean, I was trying to not look so disappointed. I was very sad because I died and lost my quill ring. But this was all actually good because then I could test the build without a quill ring, right? And this was very well for me to see that the build didn't really need the quill ring to kill the monsters. Of course, here in Merveil, for example, I'm dealing less damage because um, I didn't have a quill ring, right? at this early level. Uh, I, I still think that the rare bow is better for like later on, but like in the act one, the green ring is just insane, right? But I realized that the build also works with any bow. In this Merveil fight, I was using literally a white crude bow. It couldn't be worse than that, right? I was trying it out with a white crude bow and it was dealing the damage that I needed. So it was pretty okay. But then again, I thought I was very strong with my white crude bow. I'm not joking, this was a white crude bow. And then I saw ritual and I was like, hmm, cool, let me do this ritual. And then a uh, meteor came from the sky and bang, exploded me. So there I was once again, created the character, ran the act. Uh, and this time everything went down smooth. So, a uh, third, third time is the charm, right? So, I was uh, running and everything went well. I tested again without the really good bow and the build was performing really nice. The Shrapnel Ballista is 
very, very good this early on, and it carried me all the way track four with the split steel, chance to bleed, and uh, shrapnel ballista with chance to bleed and maim. That was enough for to carry me easily and was pretty good. I, I didn't want to start leveling as like most people do. I wanted to try my own thing and it was really fun. And it got me all the way to Act 4 where I needed to be to start grinding for my gem. The blink arrow of bombarding clones. And so after I got uh, to Act 4 and done all the trials, I got really 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 lucky that in my third lab I got the blink arrow that I wanted. I would still prefer a mirror, mirror arrow, but the blink arrow of bombarding clones also works for the build. And then after uh, some tweaks in the build tree and some more like changes in the gems, I put like minion damage, bombarding clones. I put faster attacks and elemental damage with attacks, I, if I'm not mistaken. This was really, really good. This is when the build started to shine and everything became really easy. But then I decided on doing a few more labs uh, to get try getting the Mihor Arrow instead of the Blink Arrow, right? The reason why I want the Mihor Arrow instead is that I can keep the movement skill in case I need to run away or something, right? So the Mihor Arrow has more a feel of totem build and the Blink Arrow has this feel to it where you are like uh, using your movement skill and also killing everything, it's pretty good. So I tried to farm the lab anyway because I really want a Mihor Arrow and then after that I didn't have any luck. Then after that uh, I decided on keep going because I was already kind of high level so I decided on keep going and then everything was really easy from there. I started melting all the bosses and it felt really really good. The bombarding clones, they just feel amazing. It's a very very fun build. This is the my favorite build in Path of Exile now of all time that I played the game for like 7 years. This has been my favorite build so far. I don't know if it's because I'm very excited for this league or if it's because this build is just simply amazing and I already have in my mind what I want to do with it I want my plan is to first reach 100% spell suppression permanent fortify I already have now uh, and also use farm Katarina to get her helmet and then use determination, grace, uh, defiance banner everything to make me really tanky with 100 spell suppression, permanent fortify and a high armor and then after that I will farm some uh, heist because I want to try finding a replica Alberon and in the very end game of this build I'm planning to try out a strength stacker with this I will try maybe getting some strength stacking items and see how it goes uh, maybe the elemental damage one will be more damage for solo cell found but after I get level 100 in Solo Cell Found, I might migrate my character to Trade League and then I might try that Strength Stacker Champion. But yeah, so after that, after all, uh, I farmed a lot, I reached Cruel Lab where I got my permanent fortify and the build is simply amazing, fantastic, it kills everything. Um, I tried farming some of the Cruel Lab to get the Blink Arrow. Uh, I tried farming some Cruel Lab to get the Mirror Arrow gem of Bombarding Clones. I couldn't get it. It was getting really late, so I stayed until almost 5 a.m. and then I went to bed. And this was the first day of Bama Champion, the Mirror Arrow Champion Hardcore Solo Cell Found Journey. Thank you very much for you that watched the, the video until here. I would ask you please to leave a, a like in the video to help me on the algorithm. Let me know if you like this format of video. I might bring updates on how my champion is going and maybe if some fun stuff happens try to bring you these highlights in the videos, okay? Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next one.